Hello and welcome to everything about winners and today I have really interesting news for you guys. So I am running Android 8.0 Oreo with the Samsung Experience 9.0 on my Galaxy S7 Edge SMG935 and yeah it is running quite smoothly so um, there are no uh, bugs, uh, everything runs fast I must say. So um, there are no um, really major bugs. I, I, it's, it's a stable um, version. So um, I will test it out in, in my daily use. So um, how the battery uh, life is and um, the daily usage of it, um, how it performs there. But I can confirm that it's 8.0 Oreo. So let's go into the settings, but I will stop the video now because I want I don't want uh, someone else to see my uh, my email and other phone um, details. So let's go. So guys, here you can see uh, it's the real deal. We have Android 8.0 Oreo running on a Galaxy S7 Edge. To confirm really that it it is the um, the um, Oreo, um, ah, uh, that's the S7 Edge. I will open here an application and here you can see that it's the phone uh, model SMG935. And um, yeah, I must say that this build is not official. So uh, it wasn't released official here. Um, so it is not an official build you can get um, over the air. So I have um, flashed it over TVRP because um, one Galaxy S7 Edge with the Exynos processor um, received uh, by mistake the over-the-air update for, get, uh, for Android 8. And uh, this user from Vietnam um, also published um, some sources from his software so developers could uh, make it possible to run um, the Android 8.0 Oreo version with the Samsung experience on Galaxy S7 Edges around the world with the Exynos processor. So um, for Snapdragon it's not available yet, but um, I think that it won't take that long that um, official the update will be released by Samsung. So I think end of February or um, mid of March it could happen so that you will get this over the air official by Samsung. But um, I um, I was so excited about this that I have flashed this um, the first day it was available on XDA because I just want to test out everything uh, here in the Nougat uh, in the Oreo update and um, one great thing is that now you have these shortcuts for apps like here um, trendings and so on you can also make uh, a shortcut to go di directly to the trending um, section in YouTube. So this is really, really great. You have things also like the edge lighting. So let me search um, for edge lighting. Uh, you have to go under edge screen. Then you can see that we have edge lighting. You can choose all the effects. So uh, we are getting this a feature from um, the S8 but it's not official yet so maybe they could remove it but I don't hope so because the edge lighting feature is a nice thing. You also have here um, many options for the always on display so let's uh, directly run through it so um, you have here many new clock styles uh, also for, for, for your lock screen you can change the clock style now this is also great um, we have also things like um, we can change many things also for the lock screen in terms of notifications. So um, let's go under, I think this was under lock screen and security. Um, then we go under notifications and then you can choose if you want to see this normal notification uh, icon or just icons only. So we see a little icon there. You can also um, change the transparency of it. So you can make it completely transparent or less transparent. So um, now you can customize many more things there. Um, you can also sh choose where they, uh, the notifications should show up. So under lock screen, just the always on display or both of it. 
And um, yeah, I want now, I don't want to run through all the features because you can search uh, on YouTube for uh, the the new changes there because uh, for the S8 and S8 Plus there was the official Oreo um, beta and what is now also confirmed by this firmware is that we are getting Bixby but I don't think that we are gonna get Bixby um, Bixby voice just here um, Bixby uh, as um, Bixby home so you have here all your yeah news and so on so um, yeah, I must say this runs uh, stable, so no app crashes, uh, the app opening time is, is fast, so it's the same like on, um, on Nougat, also um, the Play Store opens fast, YouTube opens fast, um, the camera also works um, without any problems, you have now this option to zoom there. Um, so I don't have any problems, I just have a problem when I want to um, play some music here that uh, the sound doesn't work over the Samsung Music app but over YouTube and so on. The sound works without any problem, um, that's the only problem I got here. And um, I got some reboots so if you want to flash this I will leave the uh, everything of the links down in the description so you can download the ROM and also you have to flash after you flash the ROM a uh, Verity flash Verity uh, thing so um, you can read everything on XDA how to flash this it's really easy um, and I got some reboots I think three or four reboots or maybe also five but now um, I think this is running stable it could happen that it reboots um, when you uh, use it um, after flashing it and then you install things and um, your device can also overheat but now it's really working fluidly you have to think that um, there are some bloatware on this ROM because it, it came from Vietnam so it's a Vietnam ROM that there are some bloatware but you can disable them all and yeah I must say that's nice to have uh, Oreo now here on, um, on the Galaxy S7 Edge um, and I will test it out so as my daily uh, driver how it performs in uh, everyday tasks and it will be interesting to see um, but I think there won't be any problems so yeah that's it that's Android 8.0 Oreo on the Galaxy S7 Edge I hope you enjoyed this video if yes please subscribe to my channel or give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you soon and you can definitely check out my channel where um, the most things or most videos are about Windows. But yeah, here was a quick look at the Android 8.0 Oreo for the S7 Edge. Thank you for watching. Bye.